Info and Thoughts is what you're tuning into right here on Pod Thing with Real Wise Productions. I'm your host, Van DJ. And how's it going? I hope everybody is having an okay day. But today I'm here to bring to you some info. And hopefully we'll have some thoughts. Right? Well, first up, let's start off with our boy, R. Kelly. Who was sentenced to 30 years for racketeering and, and, you know, all the uh, underage, you know, child sex scheme scandals and, you know, that whole mess uh, underage. We know. Oh, we know. A lot of people knew. But uh, I don't digress. You see, because it goes as far back as when he supposedly urinated on that girl and some other things. And it was like having all this, uh, you know, like, I don't think she's that age. She looks a little older. Uh, Well, we didn't see her face, you know, all that stuff, right? And supposedly the storyline is when he beat that, or if that's what you call it, as soon as he went on his, you know, entrance, or I guess the better word would be outrance. Is that even a word? you know, leaving the courthouse, he um, acquired to a young lady that was sitting in the courtroom before he could make it down the actual steps of the courthouse, right? Not even out of the courtroom. And how did one his boys and was like, who is she? Now, so this girl right here, which the story came about in uh, Surviving R. Kelly, I don't know if it was one or two, but could have been the first one. And this girl had... uh, Liked, loved her some R. Kelly, found out about his court date. She was supposed to be in school, decided to take a route a different way and go and sit in his proceedings. How that happens, I don't know. Especially if you're supposed to be in school, but okay. That's besides the point because all the things that occurred after that, before that with this man, that is such a small piece of the things that are questionable, right? So, that said, he acquired to somebody. Who is she? Because she left school. She went to go hear about this case. And on his way out, he noticed her and asked about her. Wow. Wowza. <laughs> now, you know, you know, some time went on. But we know, supposedly, things were happening at that time, during the space of time before, boom, come out with these allegations and all these things, right? Now, we call them allegations and these things, right? Because we have to be mindful because you and I were not there. How many times have we heard things that we're not true? Because if we're just going based off, and not saying they're not true, but I'm just tearing back around to that very thing called critical thinking, right? You have to have it. If you're one that's just a sucker for media and news and that's where you get your juice from and because everybody's like, yup, yup, yup. And there's stories and there's stories and there's stories. Let me tell you something right now. People get bought, people get sold, people get liked, all that stuff. So all I'm saying is when it comes to critical thinking, you got to be biased, you got to be open-minded. There's levels to critical thinking. We'll probably cover that in another episode. But that being said, things went on, things happened. Those freaking (laughs) surviving R. Kelly documentaries came out like whoa we learned so many things that he was uh supposedly molested as a child and uh you know i think what did they say his sister a family member or something there was a lot of things that went because i I saw both of them right uh really suspicious things um with his brother one of them kind of like ah you know because i think he was getting money from mark kelly uh the other one he spoke with and, and the thing is that there was something weird that went on where one of them allowed one of them to think that. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna digress on that one, and come back to it. But it was something weird where no one spoke up when uh, someone was being like accused of something, and it kind of made it weird, and it kind of summed out to like, was it about the money? Because one of the brothers was he was, I guess, kind of like this little cash cow or something like that. I don't know if he would sell his brother out like that. Who knows? Who knows? You can't sit back and say, yes, he would. No, he wouldn't. How do you know? Don't know him. Don't know him. Don't even know R. Okay? We just knew he was a great, talented R&B singer. Right? People get really, truly involved with these 
celebrities and you don't even know them like parents please stop letting your children idolize these are just musicians and, and actresses and stuff you're not supposed to pass out and be like oh, i love him my idol you don't fucking know them okay you shouldn't be obsessed with beyonce you shouldn't be obsessed with my i mean come on because at the end of the day you don't know them and the, the harm is very much there because if you're ignorant to the game and you're ignorant to the name Better wake up now, because let me tell you, God said for a reason about idolatry, so get your life, get your life. And anyway, if you're idolizing somebody, not even idolizing, but looking up to someone that they know, that they can respectfully say, this is somebody that I want to be like, because you actually know them, not because there's somebody, a celebrity, don't know, I mean, I, I just can't. But we're definitely going to get into that in, in a whole other show, right? Now, tracking on back to Mr. R. Kelly over here. Yeah, a great musician, right? And then people became so disappointed afterwards because he wasn't just this great R&B singer. People start to invest in him and be like, oh, I love Lisa Marco. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, boo-boo, but, you know, I didn't see you say you love the Lord. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. That's a telltale sign right there. But, uh, here we are. No, he couldn't have done it. Yes, he could. No, he couldn't have. But a lot of people know, and a lot of people don't. And the people, we just know what we hear and see. And with these allegations that, and, and all these stories that came about, they were true. It's really some awful, awful shit that he did, right? I watched that shit. Oh, my goodness. And then the parents? What the fuck? Hmm. Crickets. Crickets. Go watch the documentary, and then you'll see exactly why people are a little wondering, like, what's going on with the parents? <sighs> what's going on with any and everybody that was on his team? They knew. Right? Of course he's responsible, but is he the only one? The matter of fact is, is that these young girls were so taken in with him because let's just not play games here and not realize that a lot of them went to him. You know, they were going to him. It was clear as day they were going to him. But it got weird when he supposedly would put them in rooms and all that other stuff, right? But the, the, the gist of this, this show here is just to cover in this amount of time where, where, where we're at with this, where he's at with this whole thing, right? Because just like a month ago, right, there was this whole thing that came about. I think it was his lawyers, or no, it was the other side of the defense or whatever. Now, it wasn't even his. They said his did a poor job. And that's what they say. And that they found out that a mother and a uh, daughter had lied. This is a real thing. This really was some shit that I'm not reading in this stuff here about this whole situation where this woman was holding, withholding information that could have helped him, yada, yada, yada. And there was some deceit, but also the his whole case and the, the picking of the, the jury and, and the people that were, were on it, were questionable, they weren't really, because you know, you have to go through this whole thing with your jury, you know, you have to, you know, they ask you different questions, you can't have, um, just certain things they have to wean out to make sure you're a good fit, so you don't, ha you know, have bias, um, you know, uh, thoughts, and, you know, that you, so that you make a critically and fair and just choice, right? So, anywho, supposedly that was a hot mess, the, one of the women, People in there were, like, trying to ask for the autograph. And it, all of it was just not, supposedly not put together very well, right? With the people were credible. And foul play and just really uh, questionable when it came to the people that were presenting and speaking on the case, right? And that were you know, telling the story. And there was a clear and cut story that a mother and daughter was lying about this and that the mother had 
told the daughter to go and where to go to meet him. And then gave the call. <laughs> but hey, go and look it up. You know? It's crazy. So what happened to that? But I don't know. I think that was just like a little... Uh, I think that was some bull crap. What was the point of that? They were basically making it seem as if it was a un like an unfair like case. Like it needed to possibly be thrown out and retried again, right? Because things like that can happen and they have to be most likely thrown out or retried again. So, but what was that even all about? Just to be like, boom, and 30, you know? So what was that about? That whole shabako right there. What was it about? But don't listen to me. Go ahead and look it up. I'd rather you go ahead and look it up. YouTube it. Google it. Look that shit up. Because it wasn't that long ago. Uh, I can't remember that the YouTuber the lady, she's a really known YouTuber that really rocks with R. Kelly. Like, she's really all for him and doesn't believe any of this crap. But I can't remember her name. But if you put it in the search, you will definitely find it. If you're interested, if you have anything to say about this case, if you're speaking on it, if you're doing any kind of show on it, then it'll only make common sense for you to go and check it out because you wouldn't be that <laughs> careless and, like, uh, unknowledgeable enough to speak on something that you didn't get the full scope of. I would hope you wouldn't do that now, would you? <sighs> right? So, no, seriously, that's a real thing. Like, don't talk about stuff. Don't even have to podcast about something. If you're not even going to go look into the shit yourself. That, yeah, that's just, to me, it's just some bullshit. You're just somebody that just wants to talk about some stuff and just run your mouth. And then possibly catch a loss. <laughs> no, seriously, though. I, I, that's irritating. It's it's messy and it's like, yo, who does that? You know? But anywho. And then here we are now. We hear this whole 30-year thing. The crazy part is that they had, after this, they had put R. Kelly on suicide watch. Now, granted, his lawyer and R. Kelly said that he wasn't even suicidal, which supposedly it had scared him a little bit to be actually put on suicide watch when he never exuded any type of suicidal thoughts, tendencies, or that wasn't even the case. Now, somewhere there's some uh, not too knowledgeable person that's going to sit on the side of this and say, no, that's normal. They do that because the case is, no, that's not fucking normal. Okay. It's not at all whatsoever. That's some, that, that sounds like someone that's saying that he should be because of that, that, that number right there. Who's to say? Who's to say? Somebody knows if they are, you only, if you're, exude, if you are actually, you know, um, portraying those signs or have tried or attempted, but just because they threw the 30 at him. And they just assumed he needed to be on suicide watch and actually isolated him. Now it's not normal. And if you think it's normal, then yeah, you're probably one of the people that knows jack shit about rights, laws, or any of those things. And you just go with the flow and believe any old thing and probably been screwed left and right, up and down, everywhere. And just believe stuff and just don't ever look into your own shit. That being said, that worried him and concerned him. And I, I can see why. Think about it. Just think about it. Probably 80% or maybe even more. It's going to go right over your head. But think about it. The situation at hand. And why he would be a little concerned of them putting him on suicide watch. Especially, especially when that wasn't even the case, right? So now his lawyers are, are trying to, um, they wanted to, uh, they, I think his lawyer asked him to email her at some point about something, and she never got that. She couldn't get in contact with him. She kept trying to uh, get in contact with him through, you know, calling the, uh, where, where he's um, being held. She said they basically laughed at her and, and, and wouldn't give her any information, and now they're looking to possibly get him removed from there and put somewhere else and get him out of confinement, because I guess he's in confinement, right? Uh, can't remember the name of the guy, the man. Yes, I said it. I can't remember the name of him, but you can go look that shit up. Well, he had said that um, this was just the gist of the whole 30-year sentence. How was that? that? That's only just... 
the icing on the cake. What does that even mean? Who knows? But let me, let, let's, let's think here because a lot of people are thinking this right now. Like, whoa, yo, we know. Okay. That right there. What, what took so long and then on top of that those those if those things are very true he screwed up so many lives even if these young girls were willing they were minors and whomever co co coaxed them into this parents and whomever whomever they don't have their day because god don't play if it ain't here on earth with man it's gonna definitely be with the good old creator okay all right so that being said what about everything else that's going on? Because you know we're filled with distractions everywhere. And they're going so hard on this. And we know how crazy it is when it comes to this whole, you know, pedophile thing. And the normalization. And what about when they were trying to make it, normalize it and, and make these these laws and bills. And, and trying to say that pedophilia was a mental health thing. And trying to, like, co op like, co sit together with I just make a words coax it <laughs> together with the LGBTQ you know what I mean like you know how you have your transgender you have to be, yeah they're, they're trying to insinuate you know what I mean like make it a part of you know like like that it was like whoa and, and they were like the, that community was like uh no 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 and no no we will not be accepting them over here right why are you trying to like brush put them group them with somebody let them be in their own realm where they need to be freaking put somewhere off and away so they can't hurt any more children. You understand? But what was that about? These, these little laws they're trying to pass to, to decide what age uh, a child can consent with an adult and say that that's a consenting age. These, these ages under 18. So I, that, that was a little confusing there too because you know the critical thinking part really doesn't kick in for people because people are just so fucking programmed just to go you know with whatever they hear and they're like yeah 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 they don't even use all or any barely any of the other parts of their brain right to, to one plus two two these are just questions like what the fuck like what's that about well, what about the, you know questions that being said they said 30 that was just the, 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 the brush of it for him there's other allegations going on with other people and other folks so well i don't know i don't know but there that is a little bit in a nutshell and pretty sure there's more to come but it just seems just a little you know, like, what's going on? <laughs> I didn't know, right? You know, I always, like, used to trip off, trip out off of, like, the, his old songs, like, Give me that, huh? You know, or, Hey, Mr. DJ. Or, you know, those songs, you remind me, like, you know what I mean? Kind of like, you know, what's that one? He said, I'm taking you to the mall. You know, like, if he was talking to somebody that, wasn't of age. Do you think that's what that was about, guys? I don't know. You tell me. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but what we do know is he about to do these. You know, because he had the same lawyer that got Bill Cosby's um, case overturned, right? And then they asked him, one of the um, people in the case, do you think possibly that would, you know, happen with his? They said, nope, not at all. You know, not, not one bit. They said, they, one man said he, he brought this to the table. He said this was 20-some years too late. And he wasn't saying, like, it's too late. It's too late, but, like, tw he, you know what I mean? Said that he then had to try to show that this man was a danger and, and, and should be taken off the street so he couldn't keep hurting young girls anymore, right? They even kept um, going back to Aaliyah. They kept repeating that in the in in the uh, the context of everything, saying even they even were considering that that whole shabaka with that that awful thing with with Aaliyah. I guess someone came forth and was talking about that, 
And then I was thinking in my head, but can you really use that? Is that that thing, that, that bias part or that stuff where you had like, ah, you can't really let that play a part in this because he wasn't, that wasn't even like a case or he wasn't, he wasn't tried for anything or, you know what I mean? Charged with anything with Aaliyah that, but we all, but people knew, see what I'm saying? That whole underage marriage thing, they knew. But that wasn't something he got charged for. So you you can't just like go and and then be like, yeah, we're going to use that too. Because that right there was some shit, you know, because there's a law that says you can't even like, what's it doubled that you can't, uh, if you've already done a crime or something like that, you can, and, and then something else, you can't use that, you know, be charged double again for something. So this one's more kind of like mental, I guess. I'm not sure. But why are you guys bringing that up now? Because if that's the case, then who who allowed that shit to happen? Huh. Go figure. But there's that little tidbit in a nutshell, and then t- more to come, I guess. The wowzers. I tell you guys. I know. But the shit just keeps unfolding with this stuff in general. Did, did you guys notice just how it's, you know, it's always some bullshit like where's the good where's the good news where's the good it's always a devastation think about before 2020 and now look at 2020 on here onto here just how things have just been like whoosh. now many will say shit's been going on before 2020 yeah sit down this is different as if you couldn't tell this isn't in any shape, form, in a normal ballpark. This is unfolding with a, a very, very strong message. Even with the, the laws, the Roe v. versus Wave. Now they're trying to hit up on the, 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 the gay marriage. Like, what's next? You know, I mean, I've been telling people these laws are passing way before this. While, while people are off talking about Will Smith, Johnny Depp, and everybody, they over there just pop out, just passing laws. Crazy laws, too. Before this Roe vs. Wade, the, the whole abortion thing with the 28 days and, the, and the, how long you, you, can, you can have the child and, and then decide that you want to end the life. Like, these things right here. Like, people just, just, just bat their eyes over it. It doesn't even make anyone think twice. That disturbs me. Like, if no one batted an eye or even was perturbed about that shit, there's something wrong with you when that shit came out. Something's terribly wrong with you. I'll be the first one to tell you that shit. But if this has got your juices going and Johnny had your juices going and Will and Jada had your juices going, but the fact that taking a life of a baby that's already born for, what, almost a month didn't get you going, something's wrong with you. Every last one of you. You're welcome. Right? No one really gave two shits when women were like kind of already up in an uproar before this even happened about when the conversation starts to surface about the abortion laws. I had a guest on my show that uh, this affected her extremely. She could have died if she didn't get the abortion, the procedure she had because she wasn't even going to be able to have the child. The, 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 the pregnancy needed to be terminated because the child wasn't even going to make it. But they didn't even want to do it. That's crazy. So it wasn't even in a life-threatening situation they were going to help her. She had to go somewhere else. Did you hear about the, the, the 10 year old girl in Ohio? Now this was a discussion and this was a, a point that was brought up before this even happened. When they even said this shit about, and, and the, the tribute part is in the narrative that they brought up. And we were like, why are you bring that up though? Not just rape in general, but they were saying if a young girl gets raped and by a family member, and she would still have to have that baby. And if she tried not to, they could, the family could sue her. It was never about, well, what happens to the rapist? It was about what's going to happen to her if she gets raped. And she has to carry out and through with it. And she has to keep the baby or she will get sued. It wasn't about her and her health and her sanity and her body or the, the crime, right? Because look at what, we, what they got over here with the Mr. Kelly here. So what what's going on here with what the person that rapes a ten year old girl knocks her up and, and, and this one in Ohio they she couldn't even get it done she had to go to a whole other state because they was cause because of these very laws right here she was gonna have to have it she was raped at ten years old 
And that's why when people were out here saying, oh, yeah, 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 anti, uh, what's it call it? If that wasn't even the case, right? You got to really sit back and think, why? Not just, to, people don't fucking think. You think it's just, oh, pro-life, um, anti-abortion. And that's not right. You weren't thinking about that shit a year ago, two months ago, until they brought it to the table. And then you start chanting and you're like, yeah, anti-abortion. You know what I mean? Like, are you going to take care? And it's not even saying that people are, are okay with it and saying, yeah, you should be able to, to take, you know what I mean? People are stupid. I'm just going to put it like that. I don't know how much clear to put it. You know what I mean? Critical thinking, pfft, it's a wrap. No one does that. It's all just played off of emotions and, and then what people think they can get away with. And there's no thinking in between. It's just like, oh, you, you, you uh, that's your awful person if you, you, you don't stand against the person. But but at the same time, you don't think about the situation just like that young girl there, right? And then for someone to have the audacity to say, well, God said thou shalt not kill. Well, you know what? Sit your ass down somewhere because I don't like when people try to use God in certain terms and ways. But then you pro- but you know, try to take those very things and use it in this sort, this way here. But I don't know or who else you out there holding accountable. Are you holding yourself accountable with the rest of the commandments and the rest of the, the you know, the things that God said not to do? Because if you just use this one because he sat down. So are you having sex out of wedlock? Are you sleeping around? Are you, you know what I mean? Like, what else are you? Are you a liar? Are you a cheater? Are you all these other things? You know what I'm saying? So don't even try it. That's, I don't like people like that. that dig, dig, you know what I mean? Try to... Say, well, I said, thou shalt not kill. Yeah, he said, thou shalt not steal. He said, thou shalt not lie. But I don't see you up here making a whole cast about motherfuckers in here lying and shit. And, 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 and the very ones that, that, that run the world. So, I mean, sit your ass down somewhere. See what I'm saying? So, you got to be a critical thinker. Because if, you, if you're not, you one of the motherfuckers. Okay? You can't see past, you know what I mean? The, the very things that, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute now, this could be touching if you just go straight with it. Boom. Yeah, we should be against it because it's not right. You're taking a life and blah, blah, blah. But you don't even see the middle part. What about this young girl? Who's to say that she, did? I mean, come on. Right? And then and, and for someone to basically be told, you know, or to have a, a two, what's it, the two when the baby's on the outside? can't even have the baby and the baby has to, the, I mean, not the baby, but the, uh, the, uh, the, the fetus or whatever it is at that time. Cause I, I don't know what stage that, that, you know, it's in at, at that moment for the situation here, but either way it goes, it needed to be removed. It wasn't going to be successful birth. And then if it wasn't, then the living mother would pass away and they didn't want to do that shit. For the lady I had on my show. So now that's when a ding, 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 your brain genius should wake up and realize, oh, wait, well, that's not cool. That's not okay. Because think about it. Because I like to have people put their feet in other people's shoes before they go around out here just waving their righteousness around, which we know none are. Hold yourself accountable. Yeah, we know some things aren't right, this, this, and that, but we have to sit back and think that we, we're really not the judge and jury. We don't get to make all the choices and decisions. And if, and if this right here, if you're so fucking pro-life, if you're so fucking pro-life about shit, then how come you don't care about life? Because I don't see nobody giving a fuck about niggas dying in the street and being shot and these kids being snatched all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Or black lives or motherfuckers getting lynched and all that. Being bad a motherfucking eye with nobody out there, you know, just... Uh, Horrid, horrid and horrified and just upset by the fact that the anti-lynching law was still going on to not that long ago. So I'm buying the bullshit. Yes, we know that that is not a way to handle, well, I'm just going to get away from it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, clouded eyes and clouded minds of people that ain't right them damn selves ain't the ones that get to make that fucking choice. You didn't create. At the end of the day, it's your decision. And it will be dealt with accordingly to your creator. But there is decisions. There are certain things that happen. And as hard as it is, this isn't one of them easy things to have to do or think about. This isn't one of those things. We need to put the humanity back in the people lives or minds. The way you react. The way we see things. Because this isn't it. 
Because if it was, it wouldn't be such a battle. It wouldn't be ugly. It wouldn't be feuding, fighting, name calling. That's not how that fucking works. It's called empathy. It's called thinking. It's about seeing the bigger picture. Because if this was was your get down, then I I bet you out there right now, just out there just saving the world right now. Because if you're not, then sit your ass down and think about it. Because let me tell you, I'm not saying I'm for it. Some dumbasses, are you for it? No, I just got common sense. Ten year old baby. Now look, she was going to be forced to have that baby. They was focusing on her having that. Where, where's the rape at? And those family member. And that was the narrative they sold in the first place before this. So what the fuck? People, wake the hell up. Because let me tell you something. If it was you, and God forbid something happened like that, what would you do? It'd be horrid, horrible. So first, before you open your mouth and get played by these people, to once again pit against and, and help the agenda, think. Think. And you can't lose your humanity because that's the problem today. People don't hold themselves accountable. For how we interact with one another, how we react to shit, how we open our ignorant ass mouths to speak on shit. Right up until the point when it's to you. Right? God forbid. But if people don't start doing that and holding themselves accountable for the way, the shit that comes out of their mouth, the thing, because it doesn't give anybody a pass to be ugly, nasty, whatever. I don't give a fuck what loser says. People can, people can react the way they want. Shut the fuck up because you're not helping. Obviously. Obviously. If that's all you had to say. Because there's children being raped, 